so to collect it into one common spot. But then once it's all together, we need to produce a lot of maps quickly. How the GPS helps with that is it takes everything that was on that map and more and puts it into one central location. One of the great things about GIS is that it brings people together. Uh, you put information on a map and it's something that everybody can understand. A hydrologist can communicate with a biologist, who can communicate with a meteorologist, who can communicate with a geologist. GIS brings people together in a common language that everyone can understand and communicate with each other. Prior to the integration of uh, GIS, we had to manually make maps. And that's been, the, with GIS, it's helped us tremendously. It saved us time, and it's uh, actually improved our ability to get people where they need to be on the fire lines and back safely. Emergency Services uses GIS to dispatch fire and police vehicles. So the GIS stores all the addresses in the city. And then when a 911 call comes in, and uh, the address is displayed to the dispatcher. They use the location of that address to figure out what fire station to dispatch to a call, for instance. We're using it to map manholes, water valves, hydrants, storm drains, trees, street lamps. Uh, all of this data that is collected is uh, then fed into a GIS that the city owns and from there they use it to map their facility locations, um, they use it for asset inventory, um, they got to know what they own, they got to know how much it costs, how much it costs to replace something. Um, so it, it ties into a lot, of, a lot of aspects of the city. Here's another map, it's another way that we use GIS in Fire World. This is a map showing a fire history. So each color here represents a different decade, and these are showing fires that we've had in the past in the same area. So all this area in pink is the fire that we're working on right now. Fires in blue are older fires. Um, here, these are fires that burned in 1980. And why this is important is that the past fires affect how the fires that we're having now burn. This area up here burned eight years ago, so a lot of the brush and a lot of the fuels are, uh, they still haven't grown back. So on a large fire like this one, it takes us a while to figure out where we're going to control the fire. And so having information accessible like this GIS layer of old fires, uh, this is useful stuff for us to give to the incident commanders and the operational people on the fire to help them devise strategies to put out a large fire. Probably the ability to go anywhere that I want to go and take the shortest route going there. Paper maps take up a lot of space in the cockpit. They're clunky. Um, you have to look on one side for some information, another side for another information. And what the GPS maps and electronic maps do for us is it takes everything that we need and puts it in one spot. It takes um, obstacles along the way. It maps it out in front of you. Um, as far as terrain goes, as far as towers go, anything that you might hit in the in route and um, terminal area, uh, it gives you a great way of knowing where you are. It's um, amazing what it does for you as far as situational awareness is concerned, it tells you where you are, when you'll be, where you're going. If the engine failed in flight, uh, our GPS systems are great because we have everything that we need in one place. Uh, but when the engine fails, we need to find an airport really fast, and you have that with this system. You have your nearest airport, uh, the runway lengths to that airport, the runway widths, uh, the frequencies that you'll be needing going into that airport, and it's critical in a situation like that. So say you have a bunch of field workers out in a watermelon field that are uh, doing pollination for seedless watermelons. Well, what if the neighboring field, what if the neighboring farmer had called in a, an aerial pesticide application? Well, you've got 60, 60 workers in a field, and then you've got an airplane coming in to, to make an application. The field worker supervisor is going to call up the agricultural commissioner and say, hey, find out who's spraying these chemicals. We need to make the stop to this. 
So is the Agricultural Commissioner going to rifle through and drawers and drawers and drawers of file cabinets to find out who might own that field looking at every map? Or is he going to go to a GIS program, click on a field boundary and say, oh, that's so-and-so's farm and it's so-and-so flying service applying the application, we'll call them right now. That was a real life example that happened on a Friday afternoon in Glen County using the Ag GIS program. They were my phone has a GPS, for instance, and there's maps on there, so sometimes if I'm in a city and I don't know the area, yeah, I'll pull up, um, pull up my phone, type in an address, and I'll get driving directions to it on my phone, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yes, it's visual, it's, it's the picture's worth uh, a thousand words type thing. And I think people are naturally drawn to visual type solutions or visual communication. And I think that's a cool part, and actually the even cooler part, I think, is just that there's a technology behind it that's driving it all. Thank you.